Welcome back, Falmouth Fishing Hookaholics. Yay! Excuse my disheveled look. I was working under the uh, hood of my car. But uh, I thought I'd take a break and share with you what came in the mail this week, or this May's, uh, Rush Tackle Box. So this is the May edition of the Rush Tackle Box. Uh, it's another one of those subscription uh, box companies. They give you a bunch of baits each month. Uh, relatively inexpensive. If you're interested in getting yourself a Rush Tackle, I will leave the link to their site in the uh, description below. So let's crack into this. Um, oh, something fell out. All right, we got 30% uh, 30, 30 off all online orders at Impact Baits. So they give us a little, uh, little card. Exclusive to all Rush Tackle Box members. Offer expires June 30th, 2020. Okay, so I got a code. <laughs> so I might actually hit up uh, Impact Baits. They were the ones that had that... Uh, that really interesting, like, paddle style uh, design for the craw, I believe, a couple of rush tackles uh, back. Um, but uh, so we're going to crack open the uh, rush tackle box and see what else we got since that fell out. Oh, here's your what's in the box card. So there's a list of the baits. Typically there's about six baits in each one of these rush tackles. Uh, this one says, my total value for this box is at $52.94. We'll see how that holds up. And of course, you get a little sticker. As always, a little PG 13 sticker there. <laughs> this is actually a duplicate, so in one of my future giveaways, I'm sure I'll throw that into the giveaway box. All right, hit it off the top. First out the, out the box this month of May Hardcore Jerkbait. Hard, hardcore. So you have a dual. Hardcore, Minnow Flat 95 SP, which is suspending, hence the SP. So you have a little Japanese import jerkbait. So, characteristics. It's a uh, 3 and 3 quarter inch, 7 sixteenths ounce jerkbait. Uh, the color on this is Ghost Tennessee Shad. It's funny to see uh, an Asian marketed bait. Uh, JDM bait with a Tennessee shad as the color as the color de de delineation. So, so how, how do they know in Asia what a what a uh, Tennessee shad looks like? But you have that iridescent green on the top. You got the light orange hue on the belly. There's that little red, and then that see-through clear in the uh, in the mid range. Definitely got rattles. You can see that. You can see that through the uh, through the plastic. I like the little spot, the hue of brown on the front where the gill plate is. Uh, that's pretty cool. So you got yourself a little jerk bait. Definitely jerk bait season uh, as is, is upon us. Uh, they market that one at fourteen dollars and ninety nine cents. Next uh, at mainstay, I already have these, so you might actually see this if I don't have this color, which I think I do have this color. If I have this color, you might see this in a giveaway. Uh, Lunker Hunt's Yappa Bug. So this is basically a soft plastic frog style design made out to be uh, your jitterbug. So it's going to be a soft body imitation. I'll do this without damaging the box. So now this one's nice. You've got that yellow belly with that bright orange spot. Again, it's a soft plastic frog style, but it has those jitterbug lips on the front. Uh, these are made of soft plastic where the jitterbug would have been stamped aluminum. Um, but uh, nevertheless, this gives you that walking uh, bait style or that flippity flappity bait style. It's not like a, a walking spook or anything like that, but it definitely does call fish in. Um, that's pretty cool. This is the two and three quarter inch half ounce version in that. There's that green back, and again, the chartreuse belly and red spot. Um, these actually do work for top water. They're, they're pretty darn successful, actually, just like any other top water frog would. Um, this works very well. And of course, jitterbugs were always a mainstay uh, fish catcher. That market's at $9.99. Again, Great Lakes, Great Lakes Shooter. So we have for $6.99. Uh, a couple of small finesse little 
I think these are straight tail worms. Oh, these are like little, oh, these would be great on a med rig. So there you go. Now they're flat on the one side, but they're bellied on the other with these ribbing. So that catches a lot of water. And they've got this little spear tail. You can see that flutter through. So that's pretty cool. Little arrowhead. And it's, it's round all the way around, so it's bulbous. It's probably going to float. Not quite sure. Um, I wish these were like full worms rather than that flat side because these make pretty good trailers on a lot of baits that I have but unfortunately they're flat sided so you don't get a whole lot of bite into your screw lock keepers and you really can't do them Texas rigged because there's just not enough meat to them. Um, unfortunately with Great Lakes they never put a color on on their bait but it's basically this is a green pumpkin red flake or red and black flake. Um, pretty nice good bait. Again, that's $6.99 for the great for the shooter. And again, these are full packs. These aren't those little four or five worms. This is there's probably a dozen in here. All right. Next up from Z Baits, Z E E Bait Co. Uh, we have worms. It just says worms. So let's see what we got. Z Baits. Oh, there we go. Z Baits. All right. So this is enhanced with their bass syrup scent. You have 36 Nine worms in here. These are rib tail worm and green pumpkin. They're seven and a, seven point four inches, and you have a nine count in the bag. Uh, so these are from these are White Labs from Z Bait Company. Definitely smells. So you've got these really interesting soft plastic worms with a unique little, uh, you know, fluted bulbous tail on the end so again this wacky rig or or set up on a Nico uh, you know your head weight I'm sure a Nico rig this will work out well with this thing bouncing in the back as you're ticking it off the off your hard bottom if you have rock um, probably wacky rig if you have more of a grassy uh, bottom to your lake or your waterway uh, but uh, that's pretty cool and and seven and a, or seven point four inches Keep saying seven and a quarter. Seven point four inches is uh, is a pretty good size. Is that mid size? If you like those big ten inch mondo giant worms, um, yeah, that's great. If you're in Texas or you know you're catching big big giant Bertha bass, but uh, up here in the Northeast we don't have quite that big of a bass. And seven and a quarter is probably about as high as I go. Seven eight inches. That's about as big a worm as I can throw um, and expect to get a bite. Everything else is a little bit more. Um, it's too aggressive and too too large and intimidating for a lot of the bass uh, around where I fish. But uh, that's pretty cool. Green pumpkin again. Nice solid. It'd be nice if this was like a green pumpkin with a chartreuse uh, tip or, or had like some flake in it. It's got some black flakes in it, but, you know, that's typical. Not bad. They sell that $7.99. Next from Impact Bait, Craws. I wonder if this has got that same paddle tail as I was talking about. It might be another pack of the same. Well, this is different. The other ones were, the ones that I got in a previous uh, box were a lot larger, um, but, and they weren't actually a craw craw, it was more like a worm with a weird, or like a, I don't know, it was, it was a creature bait with a large paddle, but this does have the same look of the paddle, well, very similar, very similar paddle. These are awesome little craw imitators. Uh, you got these, again, another company that doesn't really put a color on it. But I'm going to call this, uh, I want to say, it's not a green pumpkin. I'm going to say it's like, it's like a root beer color, so whatever you want to do. But uh, it's definitely got a lot of red and silver flake in there. Gives you a little hue, a um, little sparkle, and it's salted on the outside and the inside. So understand it sinks. It's not floating. You can see the salt pouring off the outside probably hear it <laughs> but uh, yeah you can definitely see that all that white crustiness is just salt pouring off of the uh, off the bait but uh, again scented with a little bit of uh, anisette licorice smell keeps the pheromones from our hands uh, impeding on the bite for the fish because the fish can taste us and they don't want to taste us they want to definitely hit the bait they uh, sell those for $6.99. And finally, our sixth and final bait, giving us a round total again of 
This is from Gambler Go Fish, and Gambler has their Flappin' Shad for $5.99. Um, you have a six pack here of a white four inch Flappin' Shad. Now this, I think, would look really good on the back of a chatterbait um, or a jig. It's got nice belly, you can get good hook penetration, so you can use a screw lock keeper or any other style, you know, EWG uh, hook will fit in there too because you got a lot of nice meat in the front and you could pro you can definitely rig this Texas rigged uh, because the back is solid and you have that flat spade flapper tail. So that, any bait where you're, you're getting that action up and down, this is going to work great. I tend to go with a, uh, a fork tail fluke if I'm using a bait more apt to chatterbait because as the chatterbait's fluttering this way, um, a fork tail will kind of swim and kick uh, back and forth. This is more something like a jig where you're going to be hopping it and you can get that up and down uh, gyration. But uh, nevertheless, I'd, I'd give this a shot on any bait. It's nice, nice size. It's not too big, not too small, so it makes an excellent trailer size at four inches or so. Was it? Yep, yeah, four inches. So. Uh, yeah, I like that. And white, white is a good color. This is also great, you know, you're, you're talking bedding fish. White is always a go-to for a lot of anglers, especially if they're fishing off a boat. Uh, with your polarized lenses, you can throw your whites and your chartreuse and your orange and your bubblegum pink um, and sight fish for, for bedding fish. Um, just, you know, rule of thumb, if you're, if you're sight fishing and you're fishing bedding bass, make sure you hook them, you pull them, you put them back. Don't sit around and try to get the perfect Instagram photo. Don't spend and keep them out of the water for eight or ten minutes because the bluegill will come in and start killing their fry, messing up their eggs. Get your, get your kicks, get your big bass, take a photo, get it back in the water, where you took it, where you pulled it, and let it go back to its bed instantly and protect the fry and make sure they have other generations of bass to come out and get next year and the year, before, year after that and the year after that. Uh, that's just my personal opinion. Um, take that with a grain of salt if you choose. I just don't like seeing, uh, especially tournament time, where you have these anglers that'll take uh, a betting bass, you know, a six, seven, eight pound bass. Yeah, it's great. It wins your tournament. But at the same time, you're taking it and you're taking it a mile down the lake and you're, you know, you're weighing it at your little bass weigh-in. Meanwhile, that bed is just destroyed. So, uh, you know. Take it, with, take it with the grain of salt if you choose. Uh, as always, I appreciate all of you stopping in. Uh, made this a real quick one. So, uh, you know, I didn't want to spend too much time, like 15 minutes or so. But, if you like, like the video. If you want, share the video. If you aren't already subscribed, subscribe. Because I do a lot of giveaways, and I only give away to people who subscribe. Um, so, if you're an active, constant viewer, subscriber, public subscriber... You, have enter, you will always have a chance with any of my giveaways uh, that you could potentially win. If you're not paying attention to current videos when I drop them, because I don't have a set schedule, I just periodically drop uh, videos, um, you might miss out. Uh, I just got finished giving away a giveaway worth a couple hundred bucks, but unfortunately he did not, uh, did not catch it in time, so I passed it on to the next person. And uh, again, Joe M., congratulations. Uh, I hope you enjoy the lures. So... From me to you, uh, very, very heartfelt thanks for getting me here to 500 subscribers and beyond. Soon we're going to get to that 1,000 subscriber uh, milestone, and I'll enjoy that too. If you like uh, the Rush Tackle Box system, uh, you, don't, you don't get a whole lot of baits, but you get some, some decent baits and a lot of styles and profiles that you wouldn't see in any other uh, bait package or any other uh, store. Uh, some of these are very unique hand-poured baits that come through, through this company, from what I've seen. Uh, I will leave that link in the description below. Also, I'll leave the link for how to get uh, hold of Angler's Hall and uh, Mystery Tackle Box because those I do also unboxings of. For me to you, uh, I appreciate you stopping in, spending the time with me, and uh, be safe out there. Catch some big lunkers this summer, and uh, as always, I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, hookaholics.